Okay, we're in the Jeep. We're about to try and get it to start. Um, this is what we got. Nothing. Oh, 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 now it's going to start. Gonna try. Boy, it is not happy about that. Well, I've been out here working on the Jeep. Um, Got a video earlier of the problem it has. You try and start it, doesn't want to start, and then it starts clicking the uh, ASD relay really loudly, and the check engine light flickers. And well, basically, here's the PCM that I took apart. See there, good old Chrysler SMEC module. Um, I've learned that those three capacitors tend to go out, they either lose their capacitance or they burst or some crazy shit like that. So, Eric and I are going to change those capacitors out tomorrow, so I figured I'd get a jump start on it, and I would get the box out naturally and then uh, get it apart and get this fucking goo off of it so that we don't stink this place up trying to solder stuff. I guess we'll have to go to uh, Ace Hardware or something tomorrow and buy some some silicone caulk or some other rubber weatherproof shit that we can recreate this potting compound with, so it doesn't so the board doesn't corrode the first time we drive it through a puddle. But uh, can't see it with this camera so good. But done a pretty good job here. Uh, that stuff's pretty nasty. It's hard to get off. Um, got it all cleaned up. Should be easy. Easy in, easy out. Um, everybody online wants like uh, 225, 230 for one of these computers. And uh, when I read about that, I was like, shit, I'll give it a try. Uh, the capacitors cost me $16. So if I can get out of it with a $16 capacitor purchase and uh, take uh, Eric and Ashley out to lunch and give me a good, uh, good reason to drive to Newton tomorrow. So... We'll see how that works. Okay, we're back out here in the shop. Uh, it's the next day. I've been to Eric's place and back. Um, we changed the capacitors on the engine computer. So that's what this looks like right here. If you can see that. Uh, the uh, shiny, shiny things there are the capacitors. And we had to chip away or remove all of this uh, potting compound on here to gain access to the various parts of the board to do the soldering. So what I'm about to do now is uh, I'm about to uh, go over here and I'm going to fill this in with uh, silicone sealant. Uh, it's probably not the greatest thing to use but it'll be better than just leaving it open for the uh, elements to get in and corrode the board or if some water should splash into the engine computer which is right here in the uh, right here in the engine bay uh, so we're gonna see what we can do with this and Chrysler SMEC, all 
put back together, put back in its casing. Uh, ready to see if this thing actually works. Um, if it doesn't, I was only out uh, $16 plus a drive to Newton to, uh, you know, have Eric uh, do the soldering. And uh, so, you know, oh, and plus I was out, you know, $7 for some uh, silicone sealant. But no big deal. I mean, if this works, it's uh, way better than the alternative. So let's, uh, let's uh, go put this thing back in the car and see what we got. Okay, so now we have everything all put back together. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, we got a check engine light. Boom. Sounds like a million bucks. Started right up. So here's where we wound up today. Uh, we got the Jeep to run. Uh, it's awesome. Thank you, Eric, for soldering the uh, capacitors into the computer. That part works great. Uh, after I uh, did the computer, I went to tackle some annoying uh, suspension issues. We've got loose track bars, front and rear. It's creating um, sloppy steering, and it's got a clunk when you hit stuff in the back. So got under, fixed the front bar, and then realized there's raindrops falling on my head, and their power steering fluid. So found out that the power steering pump was leaking so we pulled the pump off and went through it and found the o-ring uh, between the reservoir and the pump is not sealing so well so I replaced the o-ring put it all back together put the pump on it and started up and it's still leaking so it's a dormant tank which means it's probably garbage uh, so I'm gonna go for a Mopar tank to put, put on it and see if that solves its problem uh, and then we'll catch up there and see what else we can do to this piece. So, catch you then.